I've tried just moderation, calorie counting, Weight Watchers, macro tracking, um, all these different things. And pretty basic this morning we've got the coffee we've got the cream and I did one scoop of my collagen and then a half a scoop of chocolate protein powder we're gonna see how that tastes I will link the products that I use below and I've got my milk frother I'm gonna clean some of this powder off and breakfast will be served okay so trying something new again something new that I had actually done before and it worked really really well for me so why keto well first of all I have um, diabetes that runs in my family and keto is supposed to lower those insulin levels and just keep at a healthy rate and so I do carry most of my weight in my stomach area so from a health standpoint that's really important to me because I am not pre-diabetic and I, I don't want to become that way. I live a very active lifestyle and um, so if I can cut back on carbs and that can significantly help me be healthier then I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Another thing is weight loss. I definitely need to lose a few pounds a lot of few pounds to just be healthier. I'm very physically active and right now I'm working on mixing up my schedule, um, adding more things in because I teach a lot so I do the same thing a lot. So mixing things up so my body has a little bit of different things instead of staying at a plateau and probably gonna be doing that with my eating. I have tried vegetarian, vegan, raw vegan, low fat, high carb. I've tried just moderation, calorie counting, Weight Watchers, macro tracking, um, all these different things. And, you know, things are successful for a little bit of time, but over like a long period of time is just not something that's sustainable to me. The one thing that I did that was really, really sustainable was staying more keto. I'm not trying to put a label on myself and saying like, I am keto, but my body responds really well to fat as opposed to carbohydrates. Plus when I choose carbohydrates, I choose sweets and sugars and bad stuff. So keto for me is something that um, helps me to crave less sugars and sweet things and processed food which is you know healthy for anyone whether you're trying to lose weight um, or not so what I plan on doing with my eating is eating more fats eating more proteins the carbs that I know work really well for my body and I don't have any problems with are sweet potatoes fruits vegetables um, some quinoa a little bit of oatmeal but when it comes to potatoes rice, things that are still considered beans. Beans are okay sometimes, um, but things that are still considered healthy just don't really suit well for me. They make me feel really bloated and uncomfortable, and I'd rather feel lighter and feel like I can just move a lot more and not feel so sluggish and tired. So I am back on doing things the keto way. I'm really excited. Um, you might look at this and say, oh, there's too many net carbs. You've got too many berries or too many vegetables or that's too much protein. Like I said, I don't want to label myself. I am keto. I am sticking with what works for my body and more fats and being fat fueled works for my body. So if you are interested in what I eat in a day, stay tuned. Breakfast served. Thank you, hubby. Two slices of bacon, two eggs, and a little bit of cheese cooked in some butter.
that was exactly what I needed. I just got done with yoga with Tara. It was just a nice, like slightly challenging, but really relaxing flow, talking a lot about what we're thankful for, um, being as Thanksgiving is coming up when I am recording this. So, ooh, yes, so grateful uh, to have this body and just be able to take care of it. It's cold, it's rainy. I am feeling like some soup and I am beefing it up quite literally. So holy heck, got home from body pump and we worked it. I did not burn that many calories at yoga because I only did it for 60 minutes. I just forgot to turn off my watch. But this is legit for the um, body pump today. So whew, it was crazy. And now I'm going to eat dinner. All right, so here she is, nothing exciting. We've got um, beef and then um, cheese on top, obviously. And then what I did was I mixed in um, a little bit of like a Thousand Island dressing type thing. So it is just a little bit of mayo, um, low sugar ketchup, a little bit of mustard and relish. And this is like my cheeseburger in a bowl. See, those are finger quotes. If I had some like tomatoes or lettuce to put with it, I would, but I don't. I only have broccoli and green beans. And so we're going super easy peasy tonight for dinner. I do a video. He wants to do a video. What are you gonna do on your video? That's it, that's everything? Speaking to it. Hello. We got walkie talkies for birthdays. Okay, so, um, yeah, I am about to eat that dinner that I made and I am a total mess from uh, body pump, but I don't even care. Uh, what was I coming on here to say? Oh, yes. So the last time that I ate was that beef and um, broccoli cheddar soup and that was around noon. It's 825 now, so that was a ton. And that filled me up and so this is like really just not not that much um, in comparison to what I ate at lunch I guess um, but I'm also thinking that I'm going to have a little bit of protein shake for like a sweet dessert um, probably the vanilla milkshake I'm also gonna have my opti greens before bed so I will show those and I will also um, post a link to those down below I'm gonna eat my dinner now and we have dessert mm -mm, good so I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to be back with more vlogging about what I eat in a day. Helps me stay accountable. And I would love to hear some tips and tricks from you guys on things that you enjoy eating that is more on a keto-esque um, scale. So drop some comments below, join the fam, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks guys.